Thank you. Hello, Craig Smith of the Home Education Foundation in Palmerston North, New Zealand. In this task of educating, truly educating our children at home, we want to collect around ourselves a library of great books, books that we are constantly reading ourselves as parents and books that we are reading to our children and that we get our, our children a hunger for so that they're dipping into these books all the time too. <clears throat> There's a number of books I'd love to comment on and I've got a few here. So Much More, written by Anna Botkin and so Elizabeth Botkin. This book is somewhat radical. It takes a different approach to how parents might want to rear their daughters. You know, in our culture, we tend to treat our daughters and our sons as if they were the same. <clears throat> uh, we expect them both to, uh, to become uh, Einsteins in their academics, and then we expect them to be multi-talented in various areas, and then we expect them to get higher university degrees with the whole objective of gaining some kind of career out there, becoming independent, fully functioning, independent, income earning persons in their own right. Well now let's, th let's just think about this for a minute. Our sons are probably going to want to do that <clears throat> because they will in God's providence, uh, given his general uh, revelation in the scripture about uh, the role of men, is that they become heads of households, they're responsible for a wife, and for children, and perhaps uh, looking after their parents later on as well. Well, they're going to need to be um, have a great career and, a, and an income stream that will allow them to uh, fulfill these responsibilities well. <clears throat> but maybe our daughters don't need to be in that situation. Our daughters, more than likely, 95% uh, of the time, are going to become married. They'll become wives to husbands. They'll be a helper to the husband helping him fulfill his calling and then they will be mothers to their children a very special calling in itself and so our our daughters actually need a very much more specialized type of training and education in these areas of how to be a helper to the husband highly educated of course they need to be highly educated but uh, but uh, more than that how to put themselves aside and how to help their husband be uh, successful in his calling and also to train up the children in the way they should go. Well, this is a ma major task. And nothing sets a family apart more dramatically than the children. When people see your children the way they're behaved and, the, and their knowledgeability and their sociability, it just, it's astounding. And that's what will attract more attention than anything else. <clears throat> and so our, our daughters need to have this specialized training. And so... Uh, Anna and Elizabeth Botkin set forth uh, this type of thinking in this book. It's very different. It's quite countercultural to our Western civilization that we've developed over the last X number of years. Very, very interesting. It gives you plenty of food for thought, let me tell you. Let's check it out with the scripture, and uh, you'll find that. <clears throat> Uh, there's uh, so much more out there. The ministry that our daughters can have as ambassadors for Jesus Christ, as ambassadors for homeschooling, and particularly as ambassadors for your family. Uh, my daughters have been tremendous as they've taken on board a lot of the ideas in this book and of course uh, endeavoring to sharpen them against the scripture. My daughters have been the best ambassadors for the Smith family there could be. They've traveled in very widely, and whenever they introduce themselves, they introduce themselves as the daughters of Craig and Barbara Smith in New Zealand. And uh, later, in years that followed, I would travel to some of these places, introduce myself, <coughs> uh, my wife uh, is from New Zealand, and they would say, oh, are you Genevieve's parents? <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, you know, our daughters were the ambassadors before we got there and had already made a, a major impression. So, folks, uh, it's good. It's a good deal.